going to perform an auto guidance calibration on a 700 Pro display. Um, we've got our DGPS signal. We're going to go to calibration and then to the nav tab and verify that we have a current vehicle model selected. The first calibration is the steering sensor calibration. So we'll click on that and we basically go forward and turn our wheel all the way to the left. Click OK. All the way to the right. Click OK. And then we're going to steer straight and get the wheel, the tires as centered as you can. And we're going to click OK. And done. And that is the steering sensor calibration. Next, we're going to perform the dead zone calibration. And I like to do these in first or second gear with the throttle most of the way up. And you're going to click on dead zone and click next. And center the steering wheel. And we will test right. wheels will turn a little bit and then we're going to center it up again test left wheels will turn a little bit and then we're going to click on our next and we're going to center our wheels up again and now we'll do the course calibration and we will test right. And center the steering wheel back up again. Test left. Center our steering wheel back up again. And you can see we've got some dead zone values there. We've done it one time. We're going to do it again. Test again. Test right. And then we're going to center our steering wheel. Test left. Now our dead zones are done, we can click done. Our P, zone, P gain calibration is how, how jittery or how responsive our steering is. Um, there isn't necessarily a calibration that you have to do for this one. Um, you can click next and the default setting for a Magnum is 18. Um, I like to turn these down a little bit to maybe 15. Um, but if your wheels are jerking back and forth a lot and doing a lot of movement or if they're too slow This P gain setting will help to either speed them up or quiet them down. Uh, you can click done on that And then we've got dates for the calibrations that we've done We're gonna perform our roll calibration now so we can go back to the run screen and we're going to set a straight AB line and it works best to do this on in the field where you can see your tire tracks or if you're in the gravel road like me uh, you'll want probably a can of spray paint so we're going to set our marker A point and we're going to drive and we're going to drop a B point and we'll set a straight AB line and we're going to engage on that line. <coughs> and we're just going to follow that AB line for probably 100 feet or so just so you have a nice straight path to watch your tire tracks on. Okay, so I drove down my AB line a ways and I turned around and I engaged on the exact same line and I'm going back 
And after you get lined up on your line, you can stop and stay engaged. And in this situation, if, is, if I was in the field, I would be able to see my tire tracks where I am. Um, you can kind of see them on the gravel road. Uh, my tractor is about six inches to the right of my old tire track. So I'm gonna go into, go back and go to calibration and to my roll. And since I'm engaged, the roll is the only thing that's gonna show up. I'm gonna click on that and click okay and okay. And now my vehicle is to the right of my line. So I need to move my tractor back over so I'm dead nuts onto the old line. So I'm going to offset left six inches. It's gonna move my tractor six inches to the left to line me back up with my old tire tracks. So when I'm done, I can click done. It's gonna update the roll angle. Click done. And then it'll move the guidance line actually and line me back up with my old tire tracks. And now I'm driving back in the same tire tracks and the roll calibration is completed.